computing the sample correlation coefficient and the coefficients for the least squares regression line. Um, the Alex gives an enormous formula for um, figuring out the co co correlation coefficient and the coefficients for the least square regression line. We're going to cheat and we're going to go into um, Excel. Okay? So I had to just type it in because I wasn't able to copy these values into Excel. You actually might be able to by, ha by um, first loading them into uh, Ale the Alex calculator and then copying them from there into Excel. I wasn't able to get it to work though, so I just typed them in. So we're going to use the equals C-O-R-R-E-L function. So the cor cor correlation. So you're going to say correct C-O-R-R-E-L array 1, comma, array 2. So then we type it into a blank. I have it down here. And here you see the function. So A2, comma, A1. That is the first column. We just highlight it the same way we did the previous one. Comma B2 to B17, which is this other column of data. Close the parentheses. And then when you hit equals, When you hit e enter, then we get 0 .7043. So that gives, nah. So down here where we type that formula is where we'll get the, the correlation coefficient, OK? The coefficients for the least squares regression line actually um, missed. I didn't finish. Um, I didn't actually finish that explanation, so let me go back to it. So here, I want to, um, for the regression line, we have y e equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope and B equals the Y intercept. Well, we have Excel formulas for those as well. The slope, we're going to say equals sl slope parentheses and the um, Y's comma X's. Okay? So we'll highlight just the column of Y's and then the column of x's. And the y-intercept, that formula is intercept, and the same, y's, comma, x's, OK? And that gives the coefficients, y equals mx plus b. So the slope gives the m and the intercept gives the B that we can then plug in for the, um, for the equation.